Hello and welcome. This is the first in a series of video trainings that is going to stir up some major controversy in the asset protection community. If you're one of my current readers and you've been anxiously awaiting for the big news I've been promising you, well, it starts right here, right now. You will be the first to witness something that has never been done before. You will be shown how to create an impenetrable asset protection plan, a plan that is 100% legal, completely ethical, and best of all, completely foolproof. The key difference between what I'm going to teach you and everything that has existed before now is simple. I've discovered how to make asset protection possible for everyone who needs it. And when you see what I'm going to reveal, making sure you are protected this way is going to be virtually irresistible. I'm also going to expose some dirty little lies. What I'm about to make public will have the scam artists, who have long been posing as asset protection specialists, running for cover. These videos are going to change everything for you and the entire landscape of asset protection. How big is this? Well, if I were a doctor, it would be the equivalent of my guaranteeing to birth you a 100% healthy and happy baby or to completely cure any disease you had. And yes, this may sound preposterous, but as you're about to see, it's all true, and I am literally the only one in the asset protection world who can show you this. So, if you're new to my site or don't yet know me, I'm Rob Lambert, President of Asset Protection Corporation. If you know anything about me, you know over the last three decades, I have the reputation for being the most trusted authority on the topic of asset protection. And yes, this means I'm about as old as a dinosaur. You also know that until very recently, I've kept a very low profile. Making videos is not my strong suit. In fact, it's a bit uncomfortable for me to get in front of a camera and do this. However, what I have to share with you is something that I am more excited about than anything I've seen in all my years as an asset protection consultant, educator, and advisor. What I'm going to reveal will apply to you whether you have been one of my readers or subscribers for a long time or you've just found out about me. It's so revolutionary, so important, that I choose to step out of my personal comfort zone and deliver this message to you in the most convenient and personal way possible. I'm going to share some real insider information with you about asset protection and protecting your wealth, and it truly is insider stuff. Now, if you know me, you know one phrase I repeat ad nauseum, trust no one. Trust no one, period. And I'm not going to ask you to just take me at my word on what I'll be sharing. What I'm going to suggest is that you watch and listen closely. I'll make you this promise. I will prove everything to you before you decide to take any action. You can verify what I'm telling you by doing a few searches on Google or making a few calls. I'm well known and easy to check out. So, to set the stage for what you're about to learn, you need to know my story. My background in asset protection was developed because of my own personal nightmare and simple necessity. In the 70s, I got a law degree from the University of California, where I was an editor of the Law Review, then went on to New York University to get a master's in international tax. I was asked to join the faculty of the University of Southern California Schools of Business and Law, where I stayed for seven years. I was given a tenure-track professorship. I taught classes at night, and I loved it. I used my days to build a firm that did real estate investment law. We represented the best of the best, the real heavy hitters. Things were great. I had more than 36 people working for me, including 12 lawyers. When I wasn't representing major institutional investors, such as Mitsui Fudasan, Wells Fargo, Bankers Life Insurance Company in Nebraska, and many others, I was investing my own money. It was as if I could do no wrong. Everything I touched turned to gold. I trusted the legal system. I trusted the judges. I had built up a large real estate portfolio. It was a real dream life, or really, more of an illusion. As you all know, in the late 1980s, the market went to hell. My real estate holdings started to tank. Deals started to go sour. Almost overnight, I was hemorrhaging money. I sought help from my investment lawyer and later mayor of L.A., Dick Reardon, but he couldn't help me. I looked far and wide. Nobody knew what could be done to protect my hard-earned money. Thanks to legal expenses and rising interest rates, I watched my cash flow go from 300000 positive each month to more than 300000 negative. As interest rates topped 18%, my cash flow completely dried up. I eventually lost everything. My possessions, my business, my family, and even my self-respect. Frustrated that I couldn't get help to protect my money, I eventually gave up. 
feeling that I was worthless because of my financial problems. All I could focus on were my missing cars, my missing tennis court, my failed business, and my neglected kids. I lost respect for myself and started drinking heavily. I hate to admit it, but I was feeling sorry for myself. Things got so bad for me, I actually made a crazy decision to run after Thailand and become the proprietor of a bar. I figured I would spend my time taking care of similarly situated expatriate alcoholics. Well, that adventure didn't last very long. My attempt to run from my circumstances hit a dead end on the seedy streets of Thailand. After three months, I knew it was time to get back to work. I called Dean Sexton of New York University School of Law and Jerry Cohen, who was then the assistant dean at Harvard, to see if they would be my joint advisors for a second LLM, a master's in law degree, as well as a doctor of juridical science, focusing in on a new field called asset protection. Much to my amazement, they agreed and gave me an 18-month full-ride scholarship to get my fourth doctoral degree. Crazy, but it was better than Thailand, and it did get me back on track, which I'm very grateful for. I caught the first possible plane to New York City, took a train to Greenwich Village, went to the housing office and picked up the keys to my new apartment and my stipend. The very next morning, I was at the law school bright and early. It was the start of 18 glorious months where I would sit from dawn to way past dusk in the sub-basement of the NYU Law School Library, figuring out asset protection. This was all new to everybody, including Dean Sexton and Assistant Dean Jerry Cohen. Everything was new. Everything was growing. It was during this time that I began to write my dissertation on asset protection. It was to become my first asset protection book. After submitting my manuscript for my dissertation, I got a call from Matthew Bender Times Mirror Corporation. They made me an offer I couldn't refuse at the time and purchased the rights to my book and published it as Volume 6 of Debtor, Creditor, Law. I'm very proud of it. In the process, they gave me more money than I thought I could ever earn and the honor of making me a permanent contributing editor of Debtor, Creditor, Law, a position I maintain to this day. It was at this time I opened the doors to Asset Protection Corporation and got my first little office on Wall Street. Well, in the process, I was starting to get noticed. There were many articles and interviews on the field of asset protection. All the big-name publishers and news reporters contacted me. Forbes, Fortune, Wall Street Journal, MSNBC, Times, Newsweek, on and on. They all did stories on me. It was a big deal, this area of asset protection. Back then, the only folks who did asset protection were very rich and often had a lot of problems or were in a lot of trouble. When I started, we weren't sure of anything. Less than 20 people claimed expertise in asset protection at this time. Today, it's more than 20,000. It was like being the first brain surgeon. A lot of trial and error, not that much knowledge. Today, I have a reputation for being unashamedly outspoken and frequently quite blunt on the topic of protecting your assets. For example, I think most lawyers tout their morality but in reality, they are available to the highest bidder. I don't believe our judicial system is fair, and I don't believe judges are impartial, ruling only according to the letter of the law. I do believe they administer justice based on their feelings and personal prejudices. These factors affect their rulings more often than you can even imagine. I mention this only to give you a reference point for the kind of duplicity you can encounter when it comes to dealing with the legal system in regards to protecting your assets. Over the last decade, with my online resources, newsletter, and video trainings, I've worked to expose the lies and myths perpetrated by many self-proclaimed asset protection specialists. I've had my finger on the pulse of asset protection practices in the world and the laws that govern it since its infancy and growth in the early 1980s. My mission has been crystal clear and laser focused to give people the information and tools they need to make informed, intelligent decisions when it comes to protecting themselves financially. The key term here is protecting. I'm not the guy you come to if you're trying to acquire wealth. Gaining wealth is a side of the equation I do not help my clients with. But holding on to it, that's where I stand heads and shoulders above the rest. I have taught and provided thousands of people with lawful, tax-compliant wealth preservation strategies. Those who have been following me for any length of time have come to expect straight talk on what works and, indeed, what doesn't. I am not a cynic or a pessimist. I am simply very clear about the fact that we live in an overly litigious society where the consequences of words like justice, fairness, reasonable, do not hold strictly to their definitions. Most people have a moral grasp of right and wrong, but this does not protect you from accidents, 
business decisions, medical situations, and circumstances you cannot control, including growing old. The most basic of all human needs is security. Your assets merely give you security, and it is my core belief that you have a right to maintain control over your assets. You have a duty to protect them. Specifically, when I refer to assets, I'm referring to your possessions, your home, your car, your furniture, your savings, your investments, your business. Essentially, assets are anything of value that can be seized by another person or authority due to a lawsuit, court order, or through the action of a government agency. I believe that everything you value has worth and is worth protecting. I believe you have a duty to protect yourself and your family. I also believe if you don't do it, you are being a very poor provider. This is a terrible reality to endure. I experienced it firsthand. My ability to do just that all those years ago has burned it into my consciousness. It is why I do what I do. I've worked to make the complex process of protecting yourself from the professional takers as simple as possible. And what I've discovered in that time is that 95% of the asset protection websites are rampant with BS and misinformation. In fact, you would be shocked to see the data I have that demonstrates how a sickening majority of them advise you to do something ineffective and often illegal. Just do a test. Search asset protection or offshore bank accounts online. You'll find that 9 out of 10 of these sites tell you that you can get a secret or numbered bank account that will be tax-free, exempt from all taxes and creditors, including Uncle Sam. Well, nothing could be further from the truth. Follow this advice and you could find yourself rooming with Bubba in your local federal pen. The Internet asset protection world is populated by scammers. It's terrible. Just try another search for Nevada corporations or domestic asset protection trusts. In both cases, you will find yourself being lied to. Promoters of Nevada corporations say no creditor can tell that you really own the assets in the corporation. They also boast that the Nevada corporation is tax-free. This is pure nonsense. The same with domestic asset protection trusts. They promise you protection if you give them your money, but then fail to tell you that the full faith and credit clause of the U.S. Constitution trumps their cruddy little state law. For example, even if you have a Nevada corporation and are sued in Ohio, Ohio is going to collect. Nevada is required to recognize and enforce judgments from all of the other 49 states without question. There is no shortage of opportunistic-minded people who are willing to lie to you to make a quick buck. The truth of the matter is proper asset protection has historically been too expensive for anyone but the ultra-rich. The opportunists know this, and that is why they have created quasi-solutions that they make available for a cheap price. This looks really attractive to people, and it's easy to understand why so many people have fallen for it, maybe even you. After all, if someone puts on a good show and convinces you they are an authority, then promises you that you can protect your assets for a few hundred or a few thousand dollars, even if your research has shown it costs in the tens of thousands, you will be very tempted to believe them. I've encountered dozens and dozens of people who have fallen for these fraudulent and ineffective cheapo plans when they wind up in trouble and come to me for help. Sadly, in all but the rarest of cases, when they're in trouble, it's too late to fix it. There are only a few things in the world that make me fighting mad. If someone threatens my family or someone threatens my freedom, watch out. I'm sure you feel the same way. But my blood boils just as quickly when I hear about a person who has been lied to, deceived, and even destroyed because some shyster sold them a worthless solution labeled as true asset protection. I can make you another promise. Here you will get the straight scoop without the BS. I hate those lying sacks of crap because they give people a false sense of security, and a false sense of security is worse than none at all. Here we tell the truth, period. The truth may not always be pretty or easy, but the truth gives you the tools to avoid the many slimy asset protection scammers out there promising to protect you, when all the time they are just trying to get you to purchase their worthless crap with their lies. The world is a dangerous place and it's getting more dangerous. We all know that the court system is out of control, but I'm starting to get a meaningful number of clients who are even more afraid of civil unrest. I believe we are heading down a road which is placing your hard-earned money in even greater risk every day. I can honestly say that every person I help with asset protection walks away healthier and better prepared to keep their professional takers at bay. I honestly believe that you never need to be vulnerable to anybody ever again. 
I hope and pray that you take that to heart and follow the suggestions I will lay before you in this video series. It is time to make some drastic but simple decisions in how you protect your hard-earned assets. If you do nothing, as the government and your creditors get even more information about you and power over you, then you are on a path towards being as vulnerable as a baby sheep in a wolf's den. How do I know? Simple. Every day I see new clients who have had their financial peace destroyed by some Johnny-come-lately, asset protection, flavor of the month guru. I don't want to see you sacrifice your finances, your health, your marriage, and your dignity like I did because you bought into the lies you heard from this so-called professionals on how to protect your assets. In this video series, you're going to get the straight talk on asset protection. I'm going to show you how I get people like you the results you're looking for. I have more successfully protected asset protection clients than anyone on the planet. And you're going to see exactly what you must watch out for and what you must do. By the time you're done, you're going to know exactly what to do to have peace of mind. You'll know how to keep your money and all of your assets safe. And you will never have to fear financial ruin due to a lawsuit, a court order, or an act of governmental authority. I have a revolutionary new way for you to have the asset protection you want and need without the cost or complexity. And I'm going to ask you not to try and get ahead of me because what I have to share with you has never before been available. There's no one who can show you this amazing strategy. And once you see it, you are truly, truly going to be staring at your screen with your jaw open in delight and amazement. Over the next few days, I'm going to show you a way to become bulletproof when it comes to your assets. And I won't be trying to pass some pie in the sky, too good to be true, nearly worthless new legal device your way. What I intend to give you, and listen to my words carefully, this is the real deal. Tried and true with no BS. You'll hear the story of what I've been doing for the last four years, how I've racked my brain, how I've gone through studies and done hundreds, thousands of hours of research. You'll see how I flow into international locations and met with government officials and sat down and talked to them and ignited in them the same passion I have to make real rock solid asset protection available to those who need it but could not get it. The work I've just completed has resulted in an option that is going to turn the asset protection world on its ear. It's literally going to wipe out countless numbers of asset protection scammers and their puppet masters. But more importantly, changes in specific laws have not only made it more vital than ever to protect yourself, but more accessible and desirable than ever before. And over the next couple of videos, I'm going to reveal it to you in a way that you cannot even imagine. If you've ever been scared to death that you might lose what you have due to a lawsuit, an accident, a divorce, whatever the case may be, I'm here to tell you that fear is about to be put to bed once and for all. Now, there is something I have to disclose. What I have to share with you has only been released to a privileged few people. You are not going to be able to do this anywhere else. If you will stick with me through these videos and listen as I unpack this amazing solution for you, you are going to be handsomely rewarded for your time. I'm also going to be putting some powerful resources in your hands, totally free. Why? Because I want to give everyone who takes the time to watch these videos the tools they need to stay safe in an unsafe world. In my next video, I'm going to share the personal story of a man I couldn't help. When you hear it, you will understand why I'm willing to give so much away. Because what happened to him haunts me even to this day. I never want to see that happen to anyone else. I'm going to show you in the next couple of videos how you can finally get a solid asset protection plan in place and become safe for life. And once and for all, give you the keys to have peace of mind and total control over your own destiny and do it through today's legally sound, ethical asset protection methods. And finally, if you're one of my longtime readers who has been listening and following my advice, get ready for the next level. You know I don't take this stuff lightly. I would never say it if it wasn't true. I found the answer to allow every single person watching, ready to take action, the ability to become protected for life. Do me a favor, leave me a comment in the comment box below. I really am passionate about this stuff, and I will be answering as many comments as I can. This is Rob Lambert, hoping you are as excited about what I have to share with you as I am about doing it. And I'll see you in the next video.